Hello, 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 hello. Out of the office today, but I've been checking my email. You know, I work from home too, of course, you know that. And the email I'm getting today is a person is insistent that car flipping is very much legal, that you can do it. Absolutely no problem with it. And I have to tell you, you can't. Now, you can do something that seems like car flipping, meaning you're selling the car but not selling it. That's, I guess, a way to do car flipping in a legal fashion. You're not actually selling the car. You're helping someone sell their car. So, I mean, um, and that's the only way. If you're not taking possession of the title, you're not taking possession of the vehicle, you're not signing the title, you're not signing the vehicle, you're not touching the bill of, you're not creating a bill of sale or anything. Um, but if you have a contract between you and a vehicle owner that you're going to promote the sale of the vehicle for a given fee, then you're not selling the car. You're providing promotional and marketing support and you can charge a fee for that, a flat fee. All right. So how does that work? You know, you may, you may, you can start off with someone you know. Hey, I'm going to help you sell your car. You selling your car? Yeah, let me, let me put it on Craigslist for you. Yeah, if you sell it, give me 250 bucks. Give me 300 bucks. All right? So, and what are you doing? You're placing ads on the internet and you're directing traffic to that person, either through text or phone or however you want to do it. That's it. So you're creating traffic. You're creating leads. You may be the one to receive those leads and filter them out and then send directed appointments to wherever the person is that has the car. And then they conclude the transaction and then give you your cut for what did you do? You didn't sell the car. You provided, you provided promotional marketing support. In your mind, yeah, you may have sold the car. You, may, you, did, you flipped the car, but you didn't actually touch it. See, that's the only way you can really sell, sell cars, car flips legally because you're not selling anything if that makes sense anything else after that third one you're done <laughs> all right so uh, that's how to do uh you know car flipping or car selling you're not actually selling cars um and i stand upon that because i've done it myself where you know i provide a marketing service for people who are not internet savvy and it's no different than you know um uh placing ads in a paid service, uh, placing ads on, let's say, for instance, print. You know, you're running an agency. You know, you're running uh, an agency. You're buying uh, um, media time, posting ads. Um, so that's the way you get started in the business. You always can start from where you're at. Don't be, you know, ashamed from starting from wherever you're at. If it means that those first two or three, four cars, you know, you're, you know, you're flipping from your home, and that's, where, and that's where you have to start from, then do it. No one's going to come knocking on your door. Don't live in that fear. Don't live in fear of what people say about you. Don't live in fear of what could happen. So what? You flip those first couple of cars. So what? No one's going to tell on you. Don't buy into that fear. You start from where you're at. You have a goal. You set your mind to get from here. Your next step may be auction access. Hey, give me a call if you need that. But your next step may be auction access, which is maybe your first, your first legitimate legal step in selling cars. And then your next step from that may be your own dealership, your own license. All right? So everyone starts from some point. Everyone, most people who are in the car business started from flipping cars, you know, curb stoning from their home. So don't listen to the self-righteous dealers that leave comments, you know, all over the internet and forums and YouTube about, oh, I don't do that. Come on, stop it. Everyone is not going to have $10,000 or $15,000 to plunk down and do the license and do it that way. Everyone doesn't have that. So, all right? So, anyway, get started wherever you're at. That's really the crux of this video. Start where you're at. Be proud of that. And just move forward boldly with a vision, and you'll get there. Gerard Trailey.